In today's video, I'll be playing a full grand challenge going all the way from 0 to 12 wins using the best minor control deck in the game right now. Let's get in the first game and try to get the 12. So it has been quite some time since I've done a grand challenge video. In fact, I've been getting a lot of comments asking me recently when the next one is. Well, here you guys go. It is finally here. And I figured now was a really good time to do one because there's the one time 12 win rewards. And I actually haven't done one since that new feature was added to the game. So basically when you get the 12 win now in a grand challenge, you get an epic book. And when you get a 12 win in a classic challenge, you get a common book. And then I guess the mega draft one, you get a rare. So if you guys want to see me do a classic challenge, after this potentially like if this video gets a lot of support you guys want to see one because you want to get that common book then let me know and i know some of you guys watching might be pretty good players i know you know maybe you guys have won classics already but you'd be surprised there's a very large chunk of the player pool that has not won a classic challenge i actually think it's probably like 97 or something percent of players have probably never won a classic challenge so it might be pretty beneficial for you guys to see that but anyway this guy's got the Night Witch here, and he's got the Collector. I don't know what he's running. It's a beatdown deck of some sort, though, for sure. And, yeah, the Miner got a little bit of chip damage on top of the pump. It wasn't a whole lot, though, because, of course, he got that King activation. So that's a bit unfortunate he was able to get that activation early on. This is actually one of the first times in a meta deck in a while that we've seen the Ice Golem, and a large part of it is because of the Duchess. The Duchess uses all of her knives on top of the Ice Golem, and then the other cards in your deck are getting a lot of value. That's kind of the idea behind it. So, Golem coming in here, we'll see how we end up defending this. We probably need to go in for a defensive poison for sure, if I had to say. I'm gonna, yeah, he is going to go in for an E-Drag. I'm gonna poison this. I think that should be hopefully good. This might be a little annoying though, even with that poison. Uh, let's get a Ice Golem going here, and he decided to go for his Evolved Barbarians. Okay, hold up. This is a little stressful, but I think we're actually going to be fine. Yeah, look at that. That was really clean defense over there. I was a little bit, uh, I was a little stressed primarily because of the E-Drag, because that's not dying to a poison. Okay, let's see. We're just going to go Little Prince here, I guess. And I don't know what the best play is. I feel like I was going to say, like, we kind of want to go opposite lane of where his golem is, but he decided a golem same lane as the little prince. So we're going to have to defend now. And he's going to go in for an E-drag. Let's go bomber and we will see how we're going to defend this. This is kind of a stressful first game, not going to lie. He's going to go barbs in the other lane. Interesting. We're going to get a poison going on top of the E-Drag as well as that Night Witch. Hopefully we can get this defense down without too big of an issue. We should probably be able to. And yeah, Evo Bomber coming in here to clean up the Barbarians. And let's actually get an Ice Golem going here. And then this time we're going to Miner in a different position. So maybe it's harder for him to predict. And uh, unfortunately he went for a NATO. That really sucks. So he was able to predict that we were going to go for a miner there he's going to go in for the evolved barbarians and oh my goodness this is a very stressful first game i think i saw this guy had a classic challenge win so that probably explains why he definitely knows a uh you know thing or two about the game so that you know makes things a bit more challenging for sure at least that ghost is getting a lot of value unfortunately though he's going to golem up and he's got a massive elixir lead right now so i'm a little bit um uh, I'm a little nervous about defending this push, not gonna lie, but we will see what we can do. Maybe get an Evolved Bomber going there, because we're gonna be able to get some chip damage, and we also managed to... Yeah, look at that, we got chip damage on the tower, and we also managed to deal damage to the Night Witch, so that way she ended up going down to the Poison, which of course is really clutch in that situation. So let's get a Log going here, and maybe we get a Bomber like this, and I think we're okay. I think we are okay. I was talking over and over about how things were getting really stressful, but we're managing completely fine we've actually had no issue whatsoever on defense and that really goes to show how strong the tesla is right now when used properly especially it's just pretty insane so we're gonna go in for the evolved bomber here we're gonna get a ice golem going here and yeah for sure this is one of the best decks in the game without a doubt with the evo tesla i forgot if i said ghost is in the deck because of all the drill so you kind of have everything you need that's why this deck works well it's kind of just it's really well suited for the meta, and that was a bad NATO on his end. Every NATO he played for the most part up until that point was really good, and that's probably now the nail in the coffin. There we go. We're going to get a pretty nice and easy game number one over here, but we still have a long way to go. 11 more. So we're in a game here against Milo, and yeah, the really nice thing about the Evo Bomber, Evo Tesla being in the deck, and the fact that it's fast cycle, 
you're going to be able to get them down really frequently. So you're going to be constantly able to use the evolution. So many opportunities to get value from them, especially that Evo Bomber. The Tesla, of course, isn't helping you out on offense. It's primarily going to be you know, defensive purposes. And that's though going to be very helpful in a lot of situations. You saw probably against the Golem Pushes, having that extra health is pretty substantial, I would say. And uh, yeah, the ability is not even the reason why the Evo Tesla is good. It's mostly the health. Now, don't get me wrong. The ability in some situations can be very nice. The fact that it, especially against Beatty cards, I think that's where you're really going to notice it. But of course, against beatdown units, that stun isn't really going to be all that. So it really just kind of depends though. Either way, let's send in a miner here because he just used his guard, so now he probably doesn't have a good way of catching it. And yeah, this is why, you know, the Princess Tower, I don't know about you guys, it just feels so weak compared to the Duchess. And because you can use the Duchess inside of Grand Challenges, Classic Challenges, definitely make sure to take advantage of that because the Princess Tower is just, man, now that the Cannoneer's in the game... Duchess, just she seems so weak in comparison. It's pretty wild to think that not too long ago, it was like always Princess Tower, you know, it was just what we were used to was kind of the standard and now it just kind of fell off. But anyway, we're going to go in for an Ice Golem here. You kind of play this deck the same way, even when you're against Princess Tower, it doesn't really make a massive difference. Probably actually the one thing you can change slightly though is if you are against the Princess Tower, you probably can send in the Miner on its own just a tad bit more you don't have to worry about the duchess having all her knives when it's the princess and the miner is going to do just fine by itself so you never really have to stress about pairing it with something anyway let's just go in for a ghost here see what this guy is gonna do okay we'll just go in for an ice golem like that go for a little prince and yeah that should be fine okay he's gonna fireball so let's let's just chill a second here why okay little prince went in the other lane that's a bit annoying but it's okay let's just poison this and we should be all right here maybe get i was gonna say i was almost about to drop a tesla predicting it but that was almost a prediction because i pretty much played it almost instantly after it was deployed so basically the same thing didn't look as cool but the idea was there at least either way that's going to be a wrap for this game. Pretty easy, I would say. I don't really think it was that difficult of a matchup. I mean, the Mortar can be a little hard to deal with, but stuff like our Log, the Ice Golem, Evo Bomber, all that, getting a ton of value. We didn't even use our Evolve Tesla, but we didn't really need it, to be fair, because we didn't have a ton of, like, you know, big win conditions where the Tesla needs to be played quite a ton. Let's keep it going. We still got 10 more to go. So we're against Al 3 Let's see, we'll go for our bomber here, and another person running Princess Tower. That makes me think this is probably going to be pretty easy, because we, in my opinion, you just have a massive advantage over people running Princess Tower. Just that in and of itself helps out a lot. So, we'll see if I, you know, hopefully I don't jinx it or anything, but I'm pretty certain by that statement. Anyway, get an Ice Golem going here with our push. And I'm going to go ahead and pop the Little Prince ability. I think it's probably worth it because I also had the Ghost there, the Ice Golem. We had a lot of stuff coming in. And Log in as well. It forced a Phoenix out of him. That is a really, really solid start. Look at that. We got some good chip damage and he had to overcommit so, so much. Because he definitely didn't want to have to drop that Phoenix. The fact that he did now means that... He's not going to be able to set up a push because he just had no elixir. I'm going to go ghost at the bridge just to be kind of annoying. And maybe he doesn't have a good answer to it. I mean, he's got a night witch. That's a negative trade. So I'm completely fine with that. Let's see if he decides to support the night witch at all or just let her die. Yeah, he let it die. I figured he was going to do that because chances are he's got an elixir golem or something as his win condition. If I had to guess, just based off of what he's played so far. I don't really know for certain, but just with the... I don't know, the Skelly King, the Night Witch, maybe it's Golem, but with Fireball, I wouldn't expect that. Maybe it's Giant, though, because Giant Night Witch is fairly common as well. I guess, okay, there we go. So it is going to be Giant Night Witch. That's kind of what I was expecting, or one of the options anyway. Maybe I thought it was Eagolem too, but it doesn't really make a massive difference in like how you want to play the matchup. I feel like any Night Witch deck... You're just going to be wanting to make sure you're getting good value out of your poisons and, of course, making sure you're using your 
Teslas properly, and that is going to be... Oh, I was about to say, that's going to be a connection from the Evolve Bomber, but he decided to whip out a Zap, so he spent basically six Elixir just to defend an Evo Bomber. There you go. So even if it doesn't always lock on the tower, people are just so stressed defending it, and it's just, you have to overcommit just a ridiculous amount so it's like even if it's not getting damage it's getting value if that makes sense so we're just gonna get a poison going on top of the night witch here and yeah i feel like we are in a very solid position right now i don't really see how he's supposed to break through at this point we're just gonna go in for a log here i'm gonna get a ghost going and he is going to got to be a little cautious about this here but we could actually just go in for our tesla and that's going to end up killing everything because of the deploy that was really helpful in that situation and then we're going to get a nice little poison on top of the tower here since he decided to go in for a night witch next to it i think that that's definitely worth it for the chip damage log just to ensure and there we go he messed up defending that ghost so that is going to is it going to be gg right then and there well yeah it pretty much is because we just get a poison down and that is going to be game pretty easy matchup in my opinion with that we are now a fourth of the way through the challenge so good stuff but of course it is likely only going to get more challenging as we progress because we're just going to get people that well more likely than not are going to be running the duchess if they know what they're doing they would certainly want to run that over the you know the uh, the princess tower and sure enough we are against someone running the duchess so we will see how this goes now in comparison he went for archers to defend that so hmm this will be pretty interesting don't really know what this is yet sparky archers is kind of an odd combination Ooh, and hog rider wow hog sparky interesting with the evo skellies this is a very very strange deck i don't really want to send my miner on the tower because the duchess is fully charged so i think ghost is a little bit better and he's gonna go little prince so that's gonna yeah get some solid damage i'm just gonna log this i think and then maybe what the this guy just keeps on being really aggressive with his sparkies so dutch has pretty much dealt with that entirely evo bomber was just to make sure that it didn't get on my tower i'm gonna ability because this way i can kind of get a counter push going with the uh the little prince so we have the guardian and little prince coming in together and now this might actually do something really solid maybe prediction log on uh oh good enough because duchess is going to deal with that obviously doesn't even matter that you went for a little prince i don't think hopefully i don't jinx it yep <laughs> duchess is just too good man so he basically just wasted three elixir there and yeah you can see tears are coming out from him so he knows he kind of done goofed i mean i don't blame him Anyway, uh, he's gonna Sparky, so I'm just gonna poison that, actually. That and the tower, I think, is well worth it, especially when we're in double elixir. I, I kind of already know we're gonna be able to defend, even though that's not taking out the Sparky. It's it's just worth it. It's a pretty good trade. We're just gonna get that going, and maybe that Sparky doesn't even... Oh, it shot the ghost. It was so close to not shooting it, but it did just in the nick of time, but that's all right. We'll just log here. And let's get an Evolve Bomber going here. Go for an Ice Golem, I think. And that should be pretty decent, I would say. I don't know. Yeah, sweet. We go for a Miner here with this. And uh, see what he wants to do. Is he going to go... So whoa! 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 Mega Knight. Whoa. Excuse me for getting a little bit carried away there. But I was very caught off guard by that Mega Knight. It's kind of odd that... He uh, has a Mega Knight in the Sparky deck. And what's interesting, too, is the fact he decided to save it. I wonder what the logic or thought process was. Like, why did he decide to Mega Knight right then and there and not play it earlier? Maybe he just thought the Sparky was going to be more of a threat and more difficult for me to deal with. But unfortunately for him, that was not really the case. And we're going to get another win over there. Third of the way through the challenge now. So still cruising along. So far, so good. And now we're against Dario. Not Mario. Dario. Hmm. Go Ice Golem. He's got a bowler. So let's ghost in the opposite lane. It's kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie playing into a bowler. It's just really... I just feel like annoying to deal with sometimes. Especially with this type of deck. I feel like really all you got is kind of like 
the Tesla for it. Yeah, I mean, besides that, you don't got a whole lot of options, so. Ooh, he's gonna go Gob Giant. I think that's gonna be decent. That <laughs> the Gob Giant got pushed so far back. That was wild. Yeah, we're completely fine. As long as that bomb doesn't hit. Yep, if it was in range of the Tesla, then it would have been a problem. I probably would have had to play something else to make sure that the goblin giant didn't get a ton of chip damage but luckily that wasn't the case so that was pretty well defended this is probably one of those matchups where single elixir is actually going to be quite challenging because the poison doesn't really get a lot of value in these types of matchups in single because he doesn't really have many units like he's not going to be able to get a bunch of units clumped together because a lot of his are expensive if that makes sense so this is one of those games where it's like as it goes on, I feel like it's going to get easier, and I can, like, stack Teslas and stuff, and cycle a ton of poisons, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. Evo Bomber coming in here, we're actually going to get a shot on the tower, and the fact that he had to waste minions to definitely made that well worth it, I would say. So, let's see if he decides to go in for, like, a Goblin Giant, potentially. No, he's going to go Lightning, okay, that's pretty interesting because that's a lot of elixir i'm actually gonna go ahead and poison this little prince i think that's a pretty good play if he decides to use the guardian maybe i'm gonna go for a ghost or something i'm not really sure but either way let's just go for a log now and see what he wants to do he might go for a okay he's gonna go for the giant skeleton so let's actually ghost in the other lane and then maybe get a little prince going and then i'll go for a tesla probably okay so he's gonna get really aggressive now we're gonna go for a high tesla because that way it's kind of like anti-lightning position and yeah let's see here i have the bowler in the other lane maybe we go for a let's see go for a defensive poison like this and then uh log here this is where things get a little tricky because it's like i'm not entirely sure what the best play to do is but i think we're managing okay so far maybe we get a poison going on defense here actually um oh man that poison probably was not that good but it's okay i did that just to like wait i knew he was gonna lightning i'm so glad that um i got that little prince down before the goblins from the goblin giant locked on my tower but this game isn't really going too well we need to be a little cautious here i think uh ooh, okay a poison here is good and then a low tesla that's kind of the play, I think, in this situation. Logging this, I want the bowler to go for the Tesla, not the... Te okay, actually, I didn't even need anything. That's completely fine. So we're going to go Ice Golem like this, and then Little Prince. I'm trying to play things outside of kind of like lightning range, because I just don't want him to get a lot of value with that lightning. Um, he's not even going to be able to afford it, though, because he just played so much Elixir at one time. And that was actually a really bad lightning. That almost felt like a Desperation Lightning. In fact, I'm kind of tempted to, like, go in here, but the only problem is those minions are a little obnoxious. Okay, there we go. I'm actually going to poison that bowler. It might seem like a... Oh, perfect. The bomber's going to walk into it, so that's actually going to end up being a very valuable poison. See what I mean? As the match progresses in this type of matchup, you're just able to go in for more poisons and stuff, and just you don't have to be... I feel, like, as worried about overcommitting on, like, offense especially... Um, we are gonna, okay, you know what, that kite was kind of bad from the ice golem because I had to kind of do this anyway. Uh, what am I trying to say? Like, I, I had to worry about the, hold up, that's dealing so much damage, what the heck? I don't know how that dealt so much damage, that was insane. Um, like a little bit ridiculous, not gonna lie. The goblin giant, I mean, I don't know what, what happened there, but either way... We got the win. That's what matters. That got a little too close for comfort there at the end, though. One more to go, and then we are officially at the halfway point. In our next one here, let's just immediately start with the bomber. So we're getting to that evolution as quick as we can. And because he went for a cage, I'm going to go in for a Tesla. Now, because he's got cage, it's making me think he might be using recruits, like recruits hogs. So if that is the case, that'll be kind of interesting. But he's got the firecracker, so he's going to be running something else. I was going to say recruits would be... I don't know if it would be easy or not. Oh, wow, Mega Knight. Let's get a Ice Golem going like this, and then the log should be able to take out the Firecracker because of the Ice Golem. And yeah, that was really clean. Pretty happy with how that went. Let's see what he wants to do here. Maybe I go in for the... 
Mm. That was pretty wild that he mirrored the arrows. I'm going to send in a miner because he did that, just because he spent a lot. Uh, I'm going to do this, actually. So he's got Skarmy. Skarmy Ice Golem, or Ice Golem Evo Bomber push. Kind of a weird push, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Force something out of him, so that works. I don't know, is that enough? To get the Duchess can deal with that on her own? I think she can. Yeah, that's, that's just wild. I mean, the Princess Tower and Cannoneer can't do that. That just kind of proves the point i'm talking about where it's just like in so many situations the duchess is just so much value so much more value um we're gonna go ghost here he's probably gonna go mega knight if i had to guess oh wait he actually has recruits how about that that makes sense because all, more often than not everyone running the cage nowadays seems to be playing it with recruits that was really easily taken out i feel like recruits you don't have a major issue defending them because you got log you got bomber so you got quite a lot he's probably gonna mega knight this yeah I, I had a feeling whenever people are waiting and not playing something for a little bit, you know they're typically waiting to drop that Mega Knight more often than not. That's kind of what I've learned over the, you know, years of playing Clash. So maybe we could get the King activated against this Firecracker. Yeah, we do manage to do that. Even though the Duchess does take it out fairly quick, we still got that activation, so that's pretty cool. And uh, we're going to go in for the Guardian here, actually, because it's going to take out the Skarmie and then up... Oh, all right, yeah, this is, I don't know, this is a weird, I feel like kind of a weird matchup. I feel like it's not a bad matchup, it's just very weird. I feel like I need to play very defensively. Okay, well, there we go. I think our main source of damage this game is probably going to be from poisons, to be honest. As weird as it sounds, like, now that we're in double, I can be way more aggressive with my poisons, which is nice. So, I think I'm definitely going to try to take advantage of that, especially when we have a situation where we can do that like right here i really want to get rid of this firecracker because i think that's kind of the main concern like i just don't want her to stay alive um and he is going to go in for the mirrored arrows so now i can get my evo bomber going and he decided to magic archer that actually is lined up i was not expecting that to be that is a bit wild and a bit unfortunate because now um Ooh, wait a second. The miner is getting a lot of damage. A lot of damage. We're gonna Tesla here. And then, uh... Okay, he arrowed. I don't think those arrows were that good. Uh, ooh, well, the double arrows... Okay, so that allowed him to kill the little prince before I got the ability off. But we're completely fine. We're okay. Yeah. Let's just do this. And then maybe get another Tesla going, actually. And, yep. I... Yep. Yep. Yep, I had a feeling he was going to do that. That's kind of the main reason why I played that Tesla, actually. I'm not lying. I know it's so easy for me to say because of that happening. But, yeah, I, I knew he was going to do that. So, that was pretty clutch. Um, let's get a Ghost going here and then maybe Poison this. I mean, it seems kind of interesting and may not seem like we're getting a lot of value. But we're hitting um, the... Uh, the brawler the tower and this is what i mean like you can really just cycle a lot of poisons as the game continues to uh progress that's generally how it works and that was a really bad magic archer he's kind of just asking for me to poison at that point let's get another tesla going here do this so that doesn't jump on the tower and yeah we're completely chilling here we have like so many teslas going it's ridiculous i can even just cycle another poison on top of the Mega Knight, and the, uh, yeah, this is just, we've got a Tesla City going on over here. <laughs> Guardian coming in as well. We just gotta make sure he doesn't get a lineup with the Magic Archer, and we're completely chilling. I'm actually even gonna go for a Defensive Poison here, just to make sure there's no chance whatsoever of these, <laughs> you know, Magic Archers lining up on my tower. And look at this, this is just crazy, the amount of Teslas we got going on. That actually was, okay, a little annoying. The Firecracker ended up splashing on the tower. Luckily, it didn't matter, though. What a funky, funky deck on his end, but luckily, we were able to uh, get the win in the end and defend without a major, major issue. Finally, we are halfway through the challenge. Let's see how the second half goes. All right, so we're against Gene Paul 6923 My guess is that pretty much everyone from this point onwards, for the most part, is going to be running the Duchess over the Princess Tower. I could be proven wrong. I would actually kind of like to see that because it would be... I don't know. I wouldn't mind getting proven wrong. I just kind of don't see it happening. Anyway, we're going to go in for a Tesla here. And wow, he got really aggressive right there going in. Um, that actually wasn't a bad play, though, necessarily, because now the Duchess is dealing, like, no damage to the 
minor as you saw so he's got arrows okay so arrows he's gonna have an answer to the evolved bomber it is of course a negative trade though but um it's still something and i don't know if that was worth eh, i don't know i know the idea behind that because it kind of allowed the uh the idea was then the duchess was able to take out the ice golem but i don't know if that's worth it sacking an ice go a um excuse me a dark goblin like that i'm not really sure but Either way, I'm gonna pre-place a Tesla. When you're against cycle decks like this, pre-placing a Tesla is okay. It's just against beatdown, you want to be very careful until you know what the deck is before you're doing something like that. Um, or if you're against like a balloon or something especially, I think like it really just kind of... It, it kind of depends on the matchup, I feel like, but I don't even know how that connected. That was a little bit ridiculous, not gonna lie. Um, I'm definitely going to want to try to punish him here, though, because he spent a lot of elixir, so we'll see if we can make something happen. And yeah, look at that. The ghost is definitely not good defensively there. I mean, it is eventually going to take out my ghost, but not before we end up dealing a lot of damage. And now I'm just going to go for a bomber, and that should be more than enough, and then the Duchess will definitely quickly take out that. And now we have a pretty sizable lead here going into double elixir. So overall, I think I'm pretty much fine with this matchup it doesn't seem like it's that bad the only thing we got to be a little cautious about is probably the wall breakers more than anything but the nice thing is i am gonna have um okay that's a really bad mother witch for me because that's basically just a free poison you just anytime you get in a situation like that just take the poison it's generally going to be worth it so i'm going to send in the miner here switching up the placement i think last time i played in the back it's going to be a little bit unpredictable when you can typically so we're gonna get a log going here on top of everything and he's got the evolved wall breakers coming in so we might have to be a little cautious maybe go in for another tesla actually and um yeah i think we're completely fine the tesla gets so much value man it's ridiculous like wow it really feels like it carries sometimes because it's good against beatdown cards it's good against swarm it's just very very consistent air too i mean it's just it's just good. I don't know. We're going to get another Tesla here going. And, um, okay, I was about to use the Guardian, but because he decided to go for the Mighty Miner, he committed more than enough to where I feel like it's probably not worth. Let's just do that so then the Wall Breakers don't connect. And he is going to log, so... Um, okay, that was a bit... We went Ghost at the same time. It was funny. Anyway, um... Let's see here. The Duchess is going to use a lot of her knives. We're going to send the Miner here. Let's get a log going on that. And he went for a Dark Goblin. So he might actually get a pig out of that. Yeah, because the Dark Gob took it out quickly. But I think it doesn't matter, probably. Miner's coming in. Let's get an Evolved Tesla going. And as long as I defend this without a major issue, we probably should be okay here, if I had to guess. Look at how much damage that Miner's getting. Really, that's that's actually wild. The Miner, if it left ignored, that's actually probably the main flaw of the Duchess. Like, when she's out of arrows, the Miner, man, you can't ignore that thing. It is dealing just a ridiculous amount of damage, and that is going to be another W. Five more to go. Five more, so it's probably only going to get slightly harder from here. I mean, so far it hasn't been, I guess, super, super challenging. I mean, we've had some games that are closer than others, but... uh. Ooh, that's a bit... Um, we might have to try to apply a little bit of pressure here just because I uh, don't really want to pre-place my Tesla too, too early. Um, we could actually send in a Miner here. Yeah, I think I am going to do that. And then let's get a Tesla going like this. And I think Poison, but we're going to wait to Poison because I really want the Poison to take care of the Lava Pups. If it doesn't, that's a problem. And that poison is going to get a lot of value. I don't know if we're going to be able to save the tower. It's going to be pretty close. I actually think maybe we can. Even with that zap. Oh, shoot. Yeah, um, that kind of sucks that <laughs> I wasn't able to save the tower. We're in a really bad position now. Um, I don't know if he's going to ignore that or if he, okay, mm, we got some damage there. Yeah, that's a pretty annoying start though. It sucks he went like lava basically first play and I kind of had to, is this going to line up? I actually don't know if it does. Let me see.
in a Tesla like this, I guess. I don't know. I feel like we're, we're, we're going to have a really rough time here, but we'll see how it goes. Let's see. I mean, that could have been worse, actually. That could have been worse. Okay, I'm going to have to focus up here. This is probably going to be a little bit... <sighs> a little bit of a stressful game. Just because we don't have, like, a ton of air counters. We're going to have to be, like, just very aggressive, I feel like. Like, we got to try to go in as much as we can. Ooh, that's not... Ah. Alright, well, 7-1, and one, it is unfortunate that we took a loss, but at least we still have an additional life, so let's try to focus up and see if we can hopefully quickly bounce back after that L. And see here, he's got Tesla Log, so this could potentially be a similar deck. Don't really know for sure. I don't know if I want to already say that when the game just started, but I mean, it's going to be some cycle deck of some sort. And he's got the Mighty Miner and the Guard, so it's making me think that this is probably going to be Drill for sure. I mean, that would probably make the most sense because the Mighty Miner is pretty much always played with the Drill, unless, of course, he is using the uh the hog which would be in this meta very surprising because the hog i feel like is a lot worse because of everyone running the dagger duchess because of course with the dagger duchess having more health and then also due to the fact that she dps is the hog so so much if the hog is by itself it's really hard to go uh really hard to go in for hog pushes because pretty much you just need a little bit with the tower and it's like more than enough so maybe just a bomber or a ghost and the hog should be stopped relatively easily so we're gonna go for a poison here and curious what he's gonna do he's gonna go mighty miner we're actually gonna block that that was a really really nice play over there really happy with how that went because i knew he was gonna go in for a hog and just like that the hog didn't even get a single connection on top of the tower so i might actually i don't actually know how much damage that mighty miner would have gotten I could have potentially not gone for a log there, but that's all right. Let's send in a miner. It's perfect timing because both his mighty miner and his guards are out of rotation. And as you can see, that means we are going to be getting some chip damage from that miner. It was also a good time to send it in because, of course, the Duchess didn't have all of her knives as well. So going into double here, we have ourselves a pretty good start. And you can see even with the earthquake, the hog just has a really difficult time getting through it's pretty um i don't know it's just pretty weak against the duchess now that firecracker on the other hand was really obnoxious we're gonna try to see if we can get an evo bomber potentially going soon if we can get some value with that that would be really good all right let's go in Ooh, so okay that was mm, that wasn't that great honestly but it's not the end of the world uh Oh, the firecracker stayed in the lane. That's that's actually really annoying that that stayed in the same lane. I was hoping it would propel herself into the opposite lane because then, of course, that would have, I don't know, been good for us, I think. So once it gets to triple, it's kind of good to be spamming stuff because then the Duchess gets worse as there's, like, just more stuff she has to deal with, obviously. So, um... Okay, nice. The firecracker went in the other lane, thankfully. So now I don't have to worry about her this time. So that's really cool. And let's see. So the miner's getting some chip damage, which is nice. And he's going to go guards. And yeah, I'm actually kind of liking the situation we're in right now. I actually want to keep up the pressure here. This is kind of what I was talking about, about when it's, um, when it's double or especially triple, but there's just a, like a lot of stuff going on. And that's how you overwhelm the uh, the dagger duchess with all your spam so that's kind of what we're trying to do here because you can see the duchess is now oftentimes out of knives when we're sending in stuff because we keep constantly applying pressure so that's kind of the idea by it and now we just have a much larger 
lead than we originally did, which is great, of course. So um, I'm going to poison the Firecracker for sure. I want to just get rid of her, hopefully. And yeah, I don't know what he's going to do. He finally sent in a hog. But yeah, as you can see, if we go in for high Teslas, he's unable to make anything happen with that earthquake. So it's kind of um, at this point... There's not a whole lot he can do, and that Evolve Bomber got an additional shot on the tower. I'm just going to go in for a poison here, and yeah, this should be probably game at this point. I think this is a really, really easy matchup. I was already, I think I said at the very beginning, I really don't think Hog is good in this meta, and this game pretty much showcases it, and a large part of it is because of the Duchess, but also because of the Tesla. So, four more to go now. We're in our next game here against Peter. So, I guess we'll just start off with an Ice Golem. And yeah, everyone at this point is probably going to be running the Duchess. I would be pretty shocked if I see someone run the uh, the Princess Tower now at this point. It would be a bit surprising. And even the Cannoneer. It would be just unexpected. So, he's got Zap and Phoenix. And he's got Bomber. So, this is probably going to be a heavier deck for sure. Maybe it's Golem or something. That would be... That would kind of be my guess. I don't know for sure, though. All right, let's try to maybe get a miner going on top of the collector. That might be pretty solid. And yeah, I think we actually are going to be able to because he went for a Night Witch. So that was really good. Um, we just got to be a little cautious about this Night Witch now. Nah, he's not going to support it. So we're completely fine. That was a really nice start for us. We were able to successfully take out that Elixir Collector. And he um, wasn't able to counter push at all so he does have golem he doesn't have his night witch in hand so i'm hoping that this golem push might be a little easier to defend i'm gonna go bomber here see if we can get some solid ship damage and look at that we forced him to go for a phoenix now it's in front of the golem so that's really good we're gonna log this here and let's get a tesla going we definitely need another and he's gonna go for the e-drag so i feel like this we're probably okay here. I just need to go for an Ice Golem to make sure we get a tank down for that Electro Drag, and that should be a-okay. Um, ooh, he messed up the NATO. That's really good. As you can see, the NATO didn't end up, and yeah, he's laughing as a result. He's definitely not happy right now. So the Duchess, mm, okay, I'm just gonna chill, actually. Maybe I'll actually just pop the Little Prince ability just to force something out of him. Yeah, look at that. He decided to go in for his night witch which is exactly why i did that the uh, ability i mean and then i sent in a miner there as well this is preventing him from going in for a collector or a golem as you can see he went in for a bomber and because the duchess is out of her knives the ghost i believe is actually still going to get connection and it does so this has been going very very well so far we've really been putting the pressure on which i think is important to do when you're against a golem deck because you just want to make it as challenging as possible for them to go in for a massive golem push which can of course be difficult to deal with so let's go in for a evo tesla here and this poison should literally kill pretty much everything um so that's really good as well and the phoenix is actually getting hit by that tesla which is actually fantastic i wanted it to hit that over the golem and just like that we defended very very well the question is, am I going to be able to defend this next Golem push? If As long as I can defend this, then we're pretty much in the clear. And I'm thinking we probably can, especially because he just decided to do that, giving me a ton of poison value. So I just need to try to, hopefully, if I can, make sure that that... Uh, let's actually, I need to poison this, I think. Yeah. That got a little annoying, but I think that's okay. Only thing is, can I get a potential Evo Bomber lineup on the Golem? That's kind of what I'm wondering right now. Uh, okay, we actually... Okay, sweet. He used his... Uh, he, yeah, he's saying, wow, he can't believe it. Because we got that Evolve Bomber damage. Yeah, it's pretty broken sometimes. I'm not even going to lie. So he went in for a defensive... Or, excuse me, a uh, offensive NATO. Which I feel like didn't work out for him that well. And this is pretty much game at this point. I just have to cycle to pretty much just another poison log and we're fine. Yeah, that got a connection, so I just need a log. I'm pretty sure that's enough, and even if it isn't, we're in triple now. So I'll just get to another poison regard. Yep, there we go. That's going to be a nice win over there.
So now we are nine in one. Three more to go. Here we go. Another person running the Duchess. Not a surprise. I had a feeling when I got to the end of this GC, everyone would have her because she's just too good. So this guy's got the Valkyrie. Mm, that makes me think this. there's a high chance this is lava. But it could also potentially be some sort of minor wall breaker deck. But because he's got the fireball, it's definitely... Yep, I I'm thinking this is probably lava. So he's got the fireball and the zap. The question is, does he have a balloon? Does he have evo barbs? Like, what's the... Well, no, he since he has... Excuse me, the evolved zap. Um, we know that he doesn't have the barbs. So... He maybe has Balloon. I feel like the variation he's running has Balloon, if I had to guess. So this should be pretty interesting. Maybe we go in for a Miner here, because depending on what he does, we could actually get the Evo Bomber potentially lined up. It actually would have been good to send in that Miner a bit earlier, but I guess it's okay. Maybe I'll just go in for the Evolve Bomber here. I think that might actually... Oh, no, it didn't end up... Eh, that's okay. That actually was still pretty good because it managed to take out the tombstone, so I can't really complain with that. This ghost, if I, I feel like he might ignore it, actually. Yeah, it would have been good if I got a um like a uh, tombstone in front, but let's just get a poison going here. This is for sure our best bet. And the Duchess is going to fire on that balloon, which means it is going to be taken out. So, cool. That was really solid defense over there. That actually was a lot cleaner than I anticipated. But, yeah, I mean, the Tesla poison combo is just pretty broken. Especially that interaction against the loon where the Duchess is just, like, basically gunning down the the loon. Like, that's, that's just kind of crazy. Like, low-key. So, I'm going to go in here. I don't know why he did that. Okay, that, I, I don't think it was a very good play, because I can just go for my little prince, and it's gonna lock on the, wait a minute, it didn't lock on the, never mind, hold up, that mega minion is a problem, that mega minion's a big problem, that did so much damage, he didn't take my tower though, okay, yeah, he didn't take my tower, so that could have been worse, but that's actually kind of insane how much the, uh, yeah, that's pretty wild, I, I have to say. Um, hopefully we can defend this, this push. I really don't want to take this into a two-tower game, because if this ends up being a two-tower game, it's just pretty bad overall. Um, like, I just don't think it's good. No! Oh, that's so bad. The Tesla didn't pull it. Uh, yeah, that's so bad. Maybe this Evo Bomber can do something, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's a lot of damage. Okay. That's that's really good that we were able to make that happen. Let's go for a Ghost in the Pocket here. And hopefully we can still win this, despite that unfortunate um, turn of events. I definitely think I can still win. It's just going to be a little bit trickier now. Let's see. I'm going to poison this. And let's see what he wants to do. Okay, he's going to do that think that i think he kind of actually screwed up a little bit that was not a very good play on his end let's see here we got our evolved bomber so that's really good and i think we're gonna send in a miner here and then go ice golem like that and that miner is gonna get so much damage it's gonna be ridiculous yeah that's that's really nice that is really really good we're gonna get a poison going here and yeah wow look at that we're actually gonna send in a miner again i think we won we won let's go i did not know we were gonna win in the two tower game but we did manage to pull it off and still still defend two more to go all right let's just go ahead and go for bomber see what he wants to do and he's gonna go for a night witch so i'm gonna ice golem i was thinking about poisoning her but i think i'm gonna chill just because he might be using a pump deck with the night witch so if that is the case it would be pretty nice to have the poison available for the pump, of course. So, let's see what else he's got here. He's got the bomber of his own. I actually think I'm going to go Tesla here. I think it's not really that risky at this point because he just cycled a... Ooh, okay, he went pump. Uh, I want to get a ghost down so the Duchess uses her 
knives on it ideally and then miner coming in afterwards nice that was really solid look at that so the miner ended up getting a lot of damage on that pump so that was really good stuff over there we just got to be a little cautious now if he decides to maybe yeah i was thinking maybe he would go in for a giant or something in front of the night which he didn't do that he might actually be using golem i'm not really sure if it if it yeah i don't know i'm, tr I'm trying to th I, I i genuinely don't know if he's running uh the oh nice we got the king activation sweet i was worried i missed it up uh excuse me messed it up but luckily i didn't so we're gonna get the evolved bomber going here and he actually has arrows okay so what i'm gonna do is go ice golem like this and ooh, he just went uh let's log because otherwise i think actually i don't know if the giant would have got a connection anyway let's just chill we're in a really good position don't need to worry that much about like little stuff when we look at the big picture we're in a uh, good spot so let's just chill and as long as we play good defense i think we're in a relatively good spot this match i would say so there we go oh wow he just screwed up really badly wow yeah that was pretty crazy um if we just tesla here this giant is pretty much as good as dead and we pretty much already won this game i don't want to jinx it but I'd, I feel like I'd really have to screw up to lose at this point because we already took half of his tower and elixir wise we're in a really good position as well because we managed to yeah get the miner going on that collector which was really nice and he's actually going to go ahead and get a giant going so let's just go in for a ghost and go ice golem here and I actually, wow, he's just giving me loads of poison value. This is pretty crazy. Like, we're just taking these poisons every time at this point. We're going to log, and I don't even think I need to use my Tesla. All right, now we are. He's going to go double giant. I actually think it's better to go giant uh, one in one lane, one in the other. So you're getting kind of like a dual lane push, essentially. I don't really think going for two giants all in the same lane is really effective, especially if I had something down like a bomber where... I'm, of course, getting splash damage on both of them. Let's see if we could get a lineup going here. He might predict it. Uh, no, nah, he didn't. So we're, we're going to get a lot of damage over there. And yeah, this is pretty much a wrap at this point. We're just going to poison all this, do this, and yeah, this is pretty much over. Ice Golem's going to make the Duchess use all of her knives, and then Miner coming in here. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and poison, and then we can just cycle back to another poison, and then this game is pretty much as good as done as long as i don't Nah, actually log takes it so yeah we're not gonna throw thankfully that's gonna be gg and now we just need one more to get the 12. all right 11 and 1 one more to go let's try to close it out here all right we're in a game here against nightmare so let's just go ahead and cycle a bomber first place so then we have the evolution ready to go and he's got a knight okay so knight is going to be one of his evolutions and likely he is going to have Another, so we'll see what that is. Yawning a little bit here, just because I'm a bit tired, because it is getting pretty late. Anyway, he's got the baby dragon, the knight. That should get taken out by the Tesla pretty easily. This guy might be running graveyard, if I had to guess, just because we do see the baby dragon and the knight, it would make quite a lot of sense. And he's going to get the king activated, so it's a bit unfortunate he gets that early on, but I think it's not really the end of the world. And, uh, you know, he was going to get it sooner or later, whether it's on the miner or the ghost, it would have happened eventually. So I think it's okay. I'm just going to cycle little prince and see if he's got a poison. This will kind of confirm if he has it or not. Yeah, he does. Okay. So let's just go for our Evo bomber in the back. You don't always have to play it offensively. Sometimes it is fine to just go ahead and cycle it in the back and let's see what he wants to do here. Maybe he goes baby dragon or something like that. Yeah. So I'm going to go for a high Tesla here. Should be able to hopefully snipe the baby dragon. No, he actually decides to go in for a knight, but that might actually get taken out alongside the baby dragon, which is pretty solid. So that was really good. He went NATO. He spent quite a lot there. Ooh, that miner was pretty bad because the baby dragon ended up turning around, but it's all right. I mean, we need to be aggressive as possible, I think, in single because I think this match gets probably harder as it goes on i would assume although i don't know for sure i think we'll just have to kind of see what happens i guess i really feel like it's i would just assume it's one of those games that it's better for us earlier just because splash shared gets typically better as the match progresses but we'll see 
So let's go for our Evolve Tesla here. He might decide to go in for a graveyard. I'm not really sure. I guess we'll find out. We might need to actually pressure split lane just because it's probably quite difficult for us to, um, I don't know, get a go same lane, but we'll see. I did get a nice poison on top of the tombstone. He decided to not go for a graveyard and pressure, which actually really helped me out. Ooh, Evo Bomber. Look at that. That was really nice. So we ended up taking out the little prince, killing that. He's probably going to graveyard here for sure. Yeah, there's the graveyard. Tesla is going to lock on the baby dragon, which is exactly what I wanted over there. And let's see if we can maintain this lead here. So far, things are looking, I guess, pretty okay. We're going to go Ice Golem here, and then we're going to go for a little prince. And once the... Ooh, he went for a knight pre-placed. Um, but luckily, since I played the minor after, we ended up getting that... Uh, connection on the tower there so let's go for a high tesla Ooh, we went little prince that was kind of a bad little prince actually the evo bomber was not lined up on the tower so this guy's actually making some slip ups here so that is really helping us out i'm gonna get oh no i missed the the tower with the poison that's so bad um it's not the worst thing ever but if i if i lose the game that could potentially be why we are actually gonna get wow is that two throws we got with the no, it was only one. That's okay. That's still pretty good. Uh, let's just get a log going here. And that log is actually going to get a ton of value. The only thing is that Graveyard got a lot of value as well. So this is just a very close game. I think I'm going to set up a Tesla here. We definitely got to keep cycling these. And maybe get... Ooh, uh, let's go in for a miner here. That tombstone might have been a misclick. Like, he might have meant to play something else there. I'm not... Re I don't really know for sure, but that's just my guess. We're going to get a Tesla going here, and I think we're going to poison this. I think we just kind of have to. We got to make sure that we're getting the... We, we got to really just keep the pressure up at this point. I feel like we just have to. Um, we got to make sure we're pressuring him because he can just cycle... Um, I don't know. Like, I, I know he's got the graveyard, but I just think it's important. All right. He did that. So maybe we can get the bomber lined up potentially. I don't know. Nope, that wasn't lined up. Unfortunately, it was not. Uh, gonna get a poison going here. We definitely need it for sure. We need it on the graveyard. Uh, that wasn't lined up. It was super close, but like, luckily that was not lined up. I can't even speak correctly right now, partly because I'm really trying to focus and also because I'm pretty tired. We're gonna get a Tesla set up here because I actually do need a poison on offense, so I'm hoping the Duchess can clutch up here defensively for me. And that is, oh, gonna be GG. That was actually a really close game. Oh my goodness, what a win. That, wow, that was a satisfying ending to say the least, especially for the Big 12. That is just absolutely insane. So let's go ahead and claim that book of cards epic and then open up the chest and then i'd say we call the video there be sure to give the video a like and subscribe if you guys did end up enjoying it and let me know if you guys would like to see one for the classic challenge because like i said you get the common book so let me know if you guys would be interested in that thanks again until next time guys